And in this video, I'm going to show you four Premiere Pro plugins that are absolutely free, but also very useful as well. And with those plugins, first, you're going to save a lot of money. And second, you will level up your editing. And now, without wasting more time, let me show you these plugins. Plugin number one is called Marionette. So let's say you've got a bunch of videos and you want to organize them in exact order in the program monitor. You can do this by manually dragging them around the program monitor, but this might take a lot of time sometimes, especially if you've got a lot of videos and probably won't be as accurate as you want. So the easiest way to do it is by going to window, go to extensions and find the Marionet plugin. And this panel will pop up in front of you. From here, we've got all these options and then make sure that you have enabled the group option and then click on full. Now, what this is going to do, let's say that I want this video to move at the left top corner. So I'm going to go to the marionette and click onto the left top corner. And this will move the video exactly at the left top corner. Now let's say that I want the largest video to be next to the host video. So I'm going to click on this button and it will move it automatically at the middle. But now I want to move all these videos at the bottom of the program monitor. So the beauty of this is that you can select all these videos onto the timeline, go to this button, click on it. And this will move all videos at the bottom of the program monitor. It's so simple easy and it saves you tons of time and to find this plugin go to your creative cloud app then go to apps go to premiere pro down to browse plugins click on it and this will open this page with all the plugins available for premiere pro then go to pricing and click on free and now go to search all plugins and i'm going to type down mario let's say and once you find it click on install and make sure that the Premiere Pro is closed before that. Plugin number two is called Vakago Stock Search Free, and this plugin will give you thousands of copyright free images, illustrations, vector graphics, videos, and music. So let's say I want videos, I'm gonna click on videos, and now from here we're gonna have thousands of videos that we can choose from. And let's say that I want this one with the volcano, I'm gonna click on this one. And now we've got numerous options that we can choose from. You can download it and import it into a folder of your choice, or you can download it and add it straight to your timeline. And for resolution, you can select what kind of resolution you want. And for the free version, we can choose only from 1920 by 1080. So if you want a higher resolution, you have to pay for it. So let's download this video and add it to the timeline. So I'm going to click onto the download and add to the timeline. And this will automatically place it onto your timeline. And if I play it, we've got a high quality video, which is not too bad for a free asset. Also, let's say that I want some illustration. You can go from here and you can see that there is, again, thousands of illustration you can choose from. You can go to vector graphics. And again, thousands of vector graphics. The only negative thing about this plugin is that you can download only 10 assets per day and 20 assets weekly. And to download this plugin, again, go to your Creative Cloud and from there, search for Vacago or Vacago. I don't know how you say it. Click on the stock search and install it into your Premiere Pro. Plugin number three is called Free Sound Audio Search. With this plugin, you have access to thousands of free music that you can use for commercial and non commercial purposes. And to find this plugin again in Premiere Pro, go up to Window, Extension, and Free Sound Audio Search. And this bar will pop up in front of you. Now, let's say that I want some African drums for my video because we've got lions into Savannah and I think African drums will be really good background music for this video. So I'm going to type down African drums and, uh, and it's going to show us the results of the search. When you click on the play button, you can get the preview of the song or the sound effect. So let's go down, can't get anything from this. I think this is fine. If I want to download something again, I'm going to click on import and add to the timeline. I'm just going to drag it onto audio track number two. And also I want some wild cards. So I'm going to type down Safari. Yes, yeah, some birds on the background, some hyenas. And again, import onto the timeline. This will import it straight into the timeline. Let's play the video. And clips much better. That's how quick and simple you can find background music for your video projects. And also you can save you money from paying monthly subscription to the parties for the background music. Plugin number four, it's called Motion Pro. Again, you can find this plugin into your Creative Cloud. And then when you click on Motion Pro, 
install it and there is one more thing that you have to do to get these free presets and also don't get disappointed when you see the 2.8 review because it doesn't affect the quality this plugin will give you so once you have installed this plugin go up to their website which is called motionbro.com and from products choose for premiere pro then go down to the free motion pro presets and then click on get it on gumball and once you download the presets and install it in premiere pro you're gonna see this you're gonna get 300 free presets and 750 free sound effects which is more than enough and honestly they're great presets and amazing free sound effects that you don't have to pay for that so when you click onto the free presets we've got transitions motion shakes design layouts graphics other elements huge view and colors so let's go up the transition open the folder and from here you can choose for numerous transitions that you can apply to your videos let's say that i want to do offset and i'll select the bounce and if i hover over it you see the preview of it and also they come up with sound effects as well so if you want to apply this transition make sure that the cursor is between your two videos and then just click on apply and this will take a few seconds now if i zoom in to the timeline you can see that they richly come up with the sound effects so when i play it we got this amazing transition which is for free let's say that you want a motion shake so you can make your image a little bit more dynamic and from the motion shake you have four templates you can choose number one which is multiplied by one multiplied by two multiplied by three and multiplied by four so i'm going to select the second template which is this one i'm going to click on apply and this will apply it onto the video or it will create a another layer on the top of or at least so I'm gonna extend it so it will cover the whole video. And when I play it, we've got this little shake which makes the video even much better. And by the way, this type of graphic is from the same presets and also the sound effects as well, which it's amazing. So let's go to the sound effects. And from here, again, you put so many sound effects to choose from. Let's go to the Roma Audio, so from Bells. When you hover over it, you can hear the sound effect. It's just crazy. And there's the four free Premiere Pro plugins that I wanted to share with you guys because personally I use them and I think they're great. Also, let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button so the YouTube algorithm can share this video to more people. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Premiere Pro tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.